Hello, this is Michael Osborne with Webucator. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new C Sharp Null Propagation Operator, which is going to be available in C Sharp 6, and take a look at how we can use it to make our code more concise and more readable. Now, this video is based on a blog entry by Gunnar Pipeman. Gunnar agreed to let us create this video discussing his article, which is available on his blog at the URL that you see here. So what exactly is the null propagation operator and why do we care? The null propagation operator was created in an attempt to make our code easier to read. In other words, it allows us to simplify and clarify a lot of these kind of verbose null checking routines that we have where we'll say if the object is null, handle this, if the child object is null, handle it this way, that sort of thing. It allows us to word that in a much clearer, more concise manner. So let's take a look at what I've got here. I've built a very simple console application and in my console application I've defined a class called person. Person has three members. It has an ID which is of type integer property. It has a name which is a string property and then it contains a list of type person called children. Now in my code, in my program, you will see Initially, this is how we would traditionally deal with nulls in those objects. We begin by declaring an instance of the person called John Doe. Now you'll notice that object, that person object, does not contain any children in that internal list property. So we write out first child and then we start doing our checking. We say if the customer dot children is not equal null, then if the customer children first or default not equal null, then we'll write out the first name otherwise we'll write out a dash and if the children was null we'll write out a dash and then we do a press any key to exit. Now this works and it's fairly straightforward but quite honestly it's kind of verbose. So the null propagation uh, operator allows us to take all that code in that big conditional and condense it down to essentially one line. So if you look down here this is exactly the same code but in this code, we're using null propagation. We again begin by declaring a person object. That person object does not contain any children in the list. And then we write out first child. And then you'll notice our, our right line there. We say right line customer one dot children question mark. Then dot first or default question mark dot name question mark, question mark, dash. So what we're saying is if we encounter a null anywhere in here, we will simply print out a dash. Otherwise, we will print out the name of the first or default child in the children collection of the customer object. Again, much more concise. This replaced, uh, what, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code with a single line. This is the null propagation operator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this code. Now in both cases you'll notice neither one of those person objects actually contain any children. So we're not actually going to get anything other than a dash printed out. But we're going to prove that these both work the same way. I'm going to run this console application. We'll give it a moment to compile. And once it starts up you'll see it says first child and I just have a dash because there was no, were no children. If I press enter I get again first child with a dash. This is using the null propagation operator. They both got me to exactly the same place. They both produced exactly the same result. It's just the code was much cleaner, much more concise. Okay, I'd like to again thank Gunnar Pipeman for the inspiration for this video. Be sure and check out his blog at the URL shown here for some other articles related to C Sharp. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.